With speech and people being censored on the daily on various social media platforms, how long before independent filmmakers are targeted for their ideas and deplatformed? If and when that happens, is it possible for filmmakers to use distributed technology and cryptocurrency to build micro cinema channels that can't be censored and to actually make good movies? That's what I want to talk about today. So let's go. First, I want to talk about how Distant Signal has evolved as a channel. It started out as a place to just share my content, the stuff that I made, right? As a filmmaker, I thought, oh, it'd be cool to just make movies and put them online. I, and, I, and that whole process started with Milkshake. I was so excited that I could just pick up a camera, get some friends and some other actors, and go shoot something and release it without any middleman. I thought that that was, and still is, the most exciting part about uh, places like YouTube. But the problem with the channel is that it just sort of spun out of control. It became about Milkshake, and then it was about Darkness Calls, and then I made stuff, uh, you know, made a travel log called uh, Dollar for Dollar. And so the channel just kind of was kind of all over the place. And then I really wanted to try to refocus that channel to be about my filmmaking and how cryptocurrency is intersecting with that. But I think it's, I think the final form of Distant Signal is finally taking shape. Starting today, what I want to do is take Distant Signal and document building a channel based around cryptocurrency and generating enough revenue to at least start with one short film and then hopefully a sustainable series of films using cryptocurrency. How am I gonna do that? By making a short film called Changelings. And I'm gonna do that by documenting every step along the way of making my short film and integrating cryptocurrency and distributed media into that process. It's going to be about building a micro cinema channel with cryptocurrencies and helping other creators like myself realize the power of distributed filmmaking with no gatekeepers or middlemen getting between uh, the creator, you, and the fans who watch your content. Now, during this process, I'm still going to review various cryptocurrency video distribution platforms. Uh, I made that promise, I'm going to fulfill that promise, uh, and, but it's going to be in a uh, context of making changelings. So far, I've only reviewed Flixo officially on the channel, uh, I can't recommend it, but the two platforms that I can recommend at this stage are Library and Steam. Those are the two primary platforms that I'm going to be using to disseminate all my information regarding changelings. So on Steam, I'm going to be publishing all the written work. So I'll be sharing budgets and schedules, casting, uh, my notes for the day, just to, ha you know, maybe I'm writing a vlog script and I don't get a chance to actually film it. I'll upload it to the Steam channel and you'll be able to see the whole process. I want to continue building this channel in this direction as I build this film. Changelings is one of my passion projects and I, I just thought it was a great stepping stone for the channel uh, because it, it allowed me to make a lot of content uh, but also towards something, towards a singular goal. And, and I think that's what's been missing from my channels. That it, that's why it's been all over the place is that it's, it's you know, I've got documentary stuff on it, horror stuff on it, th uh, comedy stuff on it, uh, vlog stuff on it, t how to's and tutorials. And I think that be, it's just been about too many genres and too many types, uh, different types of filmmaking. And I, I just, if I drill down into this one specific film, it'll, it'll allow me to make all this cool extra content sort of in advance of the movie. Uh, sort of the inverse of um, director's commentary. Part of what brought me to this next step in my channel's evolution was watching as people with radically independent inflammatory voices get deplatformed. I just find it disturbing. And as someone whose livelihood depends on the protection of free expression, I think it's important that this channel and myself advocate for people to be able to speak their minds. And I think that distributed media and cryptocurrencies are going to be the next step in allowing people to do that without fear of being deplatformed or without being made destitute. So what are the next steps? I mean, I've got this really good script, Changelings, it's a horror film, and I want to make it on Steam and on Library, but there's a very long road ahead. And I, re I realized at some point that my short film was going to be, was going to need uh, crowdfunding, but I realized that the crowdfunding effort was going to require a lot more work than I originally anticipated. Uh, I actually had the pleasure of consulting with a company that does crowdfunding with a friend of mine uh, just sort of trying to hammer out what I should you know what I should be looking forward to as far as work and what they said was that in order to have a successful crowdfunding I needed at least three months of preparation work um, getting everything ready for that 30 or 45 day or 60 day push in order to raise the necessary funds for any project really 
So that really put me back on my heels and realized I needed to take a step back and uh, really begin to formulate how I was going to do it. But I was unhappy with some of the platforms that are out there because they take a lot of fees when you raise money for a project. With cryptocurrency and, and, the, and the platform I'm going to be using called Fundition, which is on Steam, that sort of Kickstarter uh, crowdfunding platform doesn't take any fees. So any money that I get, any cryptocurrency I get will be fee less. I will get almost 100% because the network takes some fees, but Fundition itself doesn't take a fee. And I think that that's great. It provides the maximum amount of capital flow to the project. But not only that, I mean, just to give you an example of what I have to do just to get this, this uh, crowdfunding effort started, I've got to update all my actors on this new plan. I've left them in the lurch for several months now, and that's very bad of me. Um, I just really wasn't sure which direction to go. I've got to write a sizzle script. I've got to write a crowdfunding script. I've got to write a crowdfunding effort with goals and rewards. So just the why I need your money on Fundition or Kickstarter, that whole process takes a lot of work and a lot of editing. I've got to write a new channel trailer explaining how this channel is now being reformulated to this effort, to the singular goal of making changelings while demonstrating to filmmakers how I'm gonna do that with cryptocurrency and with distributed media. What else? I've gotta shoot, I've gotta shoot the crowdfunding and tone sizzle. I've gotta shoot the crowdfunding pitch video, shoot and edit a new channel trailer. I've gotta redo the vlog outro to focus on foundation, really just just hammering at home what the mission of the channel is at the beginning and at the end of each video. So only when all that's done can I actually even think about launching the Foundation campaign. On a side note, I think that this continuing evolution of the channel really reflects a sense of self-knowledge about myself. I, I like the fact that the channel is actually growing into something unique. Um, I want Distant Signal to occupy like a very small corner of the internet. I know that may seem counterintuitive, but I feel good knowing what the channel is about now. I, I want to try to help filmmakers find a way of financing their uh, projects using cryptographic currency. I just think that it's very liberating. I think combined with uh, distributed media, even YouTube, which is you know partially decentralized, can be a real boon to filmmakers and filmmaking in general. And I think that with Changelings, I'm gonna go deeper into this, this uh, idea of combining cryptocurrency and filmmaking. It's not just about movies, it's not just about Changelings, but through making Changelings, I'll be able to really focus the channel onto what it's about, and that's keeping speech and free expression free. Once all the elements are ready, the plan, as it's currently formulated on paper here, is to use Fundition as the initial sort of round A of financing. I will launch a 30 to 45 day campaign to raise the 17 or so thousand dollars required for Changelings. If that doesn't work, I'll do a round B financing on either Indiegogo or Kickstarter or GoFundMe. Everything that I've got packaged is about 50% complete. So I've got about half of the Fundition page written. I've got about half of all the scripts written. I've got about half of all the sizzle sort of put together. So we're about halfway there. And as it gets completed, I'm going to be using the other Steam skins to promote the film as well. And I did talk about this in a, an earlier post on Steam. I'll link to that below as to what I think the Steam interfaces or the Steam skins can provide for filmmakers. And that's really everything. So, you know, you can run everything from a, a Kickstarter on Steam to running a version of Instagram and even Twitter. Uh, even Facebook, and um, you could even host all the sound files or music files on DSound. So you can really leverage the Steam platform for almost all your filmmaking distribution needs, whether it's just photos or audio clips or the full film itself. All those pieces are there. And since YouTube is the juggernaut of the video distribution, I'm going to upload first to YouTube, back it up on Library and Steam for the videos, and then as the channel matures, hopefully these networks mature, you know, hopefully I can move away from YouTube and invert that paradigm and maybe start with uh, Library and Steam and then use YouTube as the backup. I think it'd be pretty cool. The one thing I do want to say about Round A financing versus Round B financing is that even though I'm making a, a contingency for raising money on traditional platforms, you know, that might speak against the ethos of the channel at this point that I'm going to do everything with cryptocurrency, but it's important to plan for success, and I think that planning to have a plan B is not giving up on cryptocurrency, but just planning for success. You know, if this project happens to fail, that doesn't mean that in the future it won't be possible. I think that my primary goal needs to be completing this film, 
so that I can tell a really great horror movie. Even though doing it with cryptocurrency is a parallel major goal, if, I, if it doesn't work, I don't want the film to die. I don't want to fall on my sword, if you will, for the film. I want the film to get made. So if plan A doesn't work, I have a plan B. Always plan for success. So that's it for this update. Keep an eye out for the next installment for the Changelings updates. And I will see you on the internet. Thanks for watching. If you like what I do here, hit that subscribe button, find me on Steam, and support me on Bitbacker. For only $2 a month worth of Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, you'll get exclusive content, early access to everything I do, and access to my private Telegram channel, where you can ask me any question you like about the process of making changelings with cryptocurrency. All right, see you there.